Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Monday, December 19th, 2011, and I'm Darko. My website is ggnonline.com. If you'd like to visit that, um, you can put in your email address and receive updates from GGN. Also on YouTube, if you'd like to subscribe or check out the playlist, um, it's ddarko2012. Also on Facebook, Global Government News has a group. You can find that link uh, with all the headlines. Uh, for today in YouTube's video description, all the links and headlines. All right, this story we have up first is physicians oppose mandatory flu vaccine for health workers. This has been going on for a while. It says here in letters uh, to Colorado public health officials, the Association of American Physicians and Surgeons oppose a rule requiring workers in healthcare facilities to have an annual influenza vaccine or vaccination or lose their jobs. Workers who had a rare religious or medical exemption would be required to wear a mask in patient care uh, in areas from November through March. And if you ever wore these masks, man, that's that's a long time to be wearing those damn things. And it says here, the religious exemption is too narrowly drawn uh, to AAPS rights and should be a philosophical exemption as accepted in many states to, quote, avoid inquisitions into matters of faith, which I do agree with. It's a philosophical thing uh, more than anything. Uh, the mask uh, requirement seems to be nothing more than punitive retaliation against those who decline the vaccine and should be dropped. The letter states, as both immunized and non-immunized individuals can transmit influenza or or illness. Next up, we have highly toxic mercury present in processed foods, yet FDA does nothing. And it goes in there and it says, why does the FDA ignore the fact that mercury in an element, an element that is highly toxic in all forms, was found in a large number of brand name processed foods. Specifically, the mercury content was found to be contained in high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, that's in everything. I mean, everything, which also reportedly contains genetically modified ingredients. I mean, like stuff like, I don't know why you want to eat it to begin with, but if you don't have enough money and you're desperate, like SpaghettiOs, I mean, it has it in there. I mean, why would you want something that sweetens up something like that into um, uh, into a food like that, like a pasta food? Why would you want to add sugar to that? But they add it to almost everything, and um, it's hard to find it without it. Um, next up we have, oh, and the other thing too is, if you've ever seen that video, you should check it out. It's a research video done by a university. Um, on uh, mercury exposure to the brain, you can actually see brain neurons shrinking up as the mercury is introduced uh, into the brain. So it, it literally kills um, uh, your ability uh, to think clearly. So, uh, and that's, I think, the point. It says here, Southwest Plains face blizzard watch. Of course, Alzheimer's, that's the other thing, too, is to get you to not be able to remember uh, the amount of tyranny that you're under. So you can only remember the day before or whatnot. Uh, okay, so it says here, blizzard watch is in effect until Tuesday for parts of the Colorado, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas, as a severe winter storm is expected to bring high winds and up to a foot or more snow on Sunday, according to the National Weather Service. So this is uh, all due to climate change and global warming. That's right. Um, it was uh, snowing in Vegas, uh, what, last year, and um, uh, snowing in the south uh, the year before that. So it's been snowing in the south and southwest for about three, four years now. And it probably always has, but it's uh, beginning more uh, uh, frequent and heavier, too. And the advocates say that that's due to climate change as well. Uh, Pope Benedict peace message calls for wealth redistribution, says noting a rising sense of frustration at the worldwide economic recession that was caused and engineered by the banks. Uh, Pope Benedict... Uh, quite possibly the last pope, uh, it was prophesized, as uh, said that a more just and peaceful world requires, quote, adequate mechanisms for redistribution of wealth. Now, that's um, kind of interesting because he's called for what? He's called for a, an institution to monitor fi all financial transactions, i.e. Um, an international court and the Tobin tax, U.S. Sorry, so the Pope's calling for the wealth to be redistributed. And then we have this article from November 19th, 2010. Uh, UN official admits we redistribute world's wealth by climate policy. This has almost nothing to do with environmental policy is a quote from um, basically an official from the United Nations Intergovernmental uh, Panel on Climate Change. That's right. So, uh, you know, the, what the Pope calls for, he gets... He's the pope that you see. There's the black pope and all that. And then you got this guy, the white pope, that sits in the front that you actually see. So um, this is weird how the layers go deeper and deeper and deeper until you, you realize it's like who is calling the shots. I mean, the, only, the people that you see calling 
that you think are calling the shots are really just uh, um, they're just following a plan. They're just actually doing the public relations where they're talking uh, uh, to the world's population and they're just handing down uh, plans that were um, you know basically put together in private and secrecy for you on how you're going to live says here climate change conference pope calls for responsible deal in durban uh, pope benedict called on sunday for delegates attending the week's uh, u.n climate change conference in south africa to craft a responsible and credible deal to cut greenhouse gases so if you've seen my, or heard my videos before you you know that i've uh, kind of made the comparison of climate change or uh, going green or environmentalism eco-fascism as a part of the eugenics movement right and because uh, eugenics has a bad connotation to the word so benedict has been dubbed the green pope the eugenics pope and uh, so he has big concerns about the environment which is all fake right and uh, so he promotes a carbon tax religious leaders back carbon tax so there you go he says it and they, and they jump exclusive epa ponders expanded regulatory power in the name of sustainable uh, development so we have this thing now green police we have green uh, environmental police a uh, green helmets like blue helmets for the UN and now we have a climate and international climate court uh, uh, basically in the wings ready uh, to come out so you're gonna have uh, a climate court with climate police and it says here, U.S. Uh, Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, wants to change how it analyzes problems and makes decisions in a way that would give a vastly expanded power to regulate businesses, communities, ecosystems in the name of, oops, here we go, sustainable development. That means eugenics. Sustainable development means population control. According to the study itself, the adoption of a new sustainable framework will make the EPA more anticipatory. That means like kind of like pre-crime and its approach to uh, environmental issues. In other words, they're going to have uh, more teeth to go in there and start uh, shutting down businesses and arresting people for just piddly crimes, basically, nonviolent crimes. Um, we have here broadened its focus to include both social and economic as well as environmental pillars and strengthen the EPA as an organization and a leader in the nation's progress towards a sustainable future. That means less people. So uh, basically the, you can look at the EPA now as the eugenics um, policy authorities. New EPA pollution rules may force shutdown of dozens of coal fire power plants. And we, we've uh, seen articles down in Texas and that where they've had rolling blackouts and uh, there was actually an article that did uh, counter what the uh, what the uh, government put out, which was that, uh, oh, actually it was the Obama, it was the White House that said that, the, oh, that article about, uh, you know, rolling blackouts in Texas, uh, what was it, a year or two ago, it's not due to Obama's climate policy. And then it came out just recently this year that uh, that it was, that these blackouts are tied to this climate. Uh, to climate. So more than 32 uh, coal-fired power plants that help people keep warm will be forced to shut down. Additional 36 might have to close because of new federal air pollution regulations. So now let's... Remember that they're spraying you with chemicals and polluting the air globally every day, daily. And that's the biggest polluter, but they're, they're not worried about that. That's, that's to warm the planet. See, they're warming the planet with the trails, the chemical chemtrails. They're warming it, and uh, then they're going to charge you a carbon tax for the global warming. Uh, it says here, California regulators frame organic pastures and force raw milk shutdown over fabricated E. coli scare. So, yeah, it's been a month since the California Department or uh, FDA in California swooped like vultures on organic pastures. Deary in Fresno, California demanded them uh, the farm recall and stop selling all of its raw milk products immediately and indefinitely. And it came on. Here's this actual story. More tests for raw milk dairy after E. coli illnesses. So, uh, basically, they found that uh, it had nothing to to do with it. The state's own tests have now determined that the organic pastures raw milk was not the culprit, but they don't really care. They just put it out there to scare people. Um, so you can drink your milk with uh, dead uh, dead organisms in it. It says here, and uh, uh, growth hormones and antibiotics and all that stuff. Meteorologists on climate change, it's raining harder out there. So it says here, yeah, meteorologists at the Weather Channel says, oh, it's raining harder out there, which is kind of weird. I, I think he's trying to say that it rains. it's raining more but it's not raining harder if if you if you pay attention to the uh, to the earth around you and the weather and stuff like that um, you can tell that uh, even though they are spraying it is getting colder out uh, when they do spray it tends to get a little warmer out 
um, because they're creating like a microwave. They're trapping in the heat. They're, they're not uh, pushing. They're not uh, pushing the, the the heat out. They're actually trapping it in like a dome. And, but besides the increase in temperature when they spray, you'll also see uh, more rain. But it's but it's a certain type of rain. It's not the rain that I remember at least when I was a kid. Even though they were still spraying, which was you get a nice. Uh, it'd be sunny and cloud, and it'd be sunny out, and all of a sudden some clouds would roll through. It'd rain and it'd go away, and the sun would come out. Blue skies. No more. Never again. I've, I haven't seen that in a long time. All you see is nothing but spraying with chemicals and uh, in the morning while well, there's a blue sky, and then by the afternoon, it's gone. It's a cloudy, gray, charcoal, sh crappy-looking sky uh, filled with uh, pollutants, aerosols, and then what happens? Then the rain uh, starts up, and when it rains, it's a slow, it's a, not a slow, but it's, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's like a, a drizzle. It's a hard drizzle. That's that's my uh, description for it. It's not like real hard or, or anything like that. It's the same type of drizzling. It goes on for hours. In fact, the other day it went on for almost two days. Just a slow drizzle. Uh, next up, we have low vitamin D in children behind current explosion of new diabetes cases. So uh, we all know that the sun provides vitamin D for us. So that makes sense that they're blocking out the sun, that people would be low in vitamin D. Uh, also, a study says 1 and 100 uh pupils or young people in UK sick with ME, and that's, of course, uh, chronic fatigue syndrome. Now, this is being caused by the barium, but they don't want to tell you that, right? The barium poisoning that's in the aerosols that they're spraying in the chemtrails, they're causing people to have chronic fatigue syndrome, among other things. Philippine uh, storm toll exceeds 650,900 missing. So remember, I talked about Philippines and um, them having a, a ship out there um, on behalf of the West, Clinton going through there, Obama basically siding with the uh, with the Philippines, talking about uh, an anniversary. I think the 60th anniversary, the Philippine uh, military pact with the United States, which happened to be what the Philippines were protesting. They were protesting, and they were protesting um, the uh, quote free trade agreements that were also. Um, um, talked about and signed, and what happens? Oh, see, now you get, uh, now you get this. Now, now you get distracted. You don't worry about that. You can't, you can't protest about being a slave labor, uh, a hub, and you know it's just like the heart attacks. Oh, you got a heart attack, you died. So it's these little weapons. It's a weather weapon. It's uh, having people get uh, leaders have heart attacks or whatever. It, it's, it's a sneaky way of doing things. It's called like soft power. Uh, next up, we have UK to build atmospheric sentinel. Yeah, it's going to monitor atmospheric compositions and damaging pollutants like sulfur dioxide. It's so funny. It's going to measure the chemtrails that they're spraying. Monsanto's Roundup Ready crops leading to mental illness. That's right. So is the fluoride. That fluoride in your drinking water attaches to your pineal gland, and it also uh, allows your brain to absorb aluminum more easily, which is being sprayed in the chemtrail, which we all know what messes with your memories. So you forget all this crap and just be happy. And don't forget, they're going to have alcohol now with all, all the bad negative side effects and uh, certain drugs in that, like a Soma from Brave New World. Planned Parenthood offers tips for pro-abortion conversation around holiday. Talking Turkey, eight easy steps for discussing reproductive health and justice at the holiday table. Also includes a quiz to help people prepare for touchy questions about your politics over the dinner. Then we have cancer. Survivor's breast implant disappears inside her body during Pilates class after it slips between her ribs. Ouch. FDA issues warning to eight bariatric surgery centers following multiple confirmed fatalities. Talking about lap band surgery. A uh, study confirms that man many survivors of breast cancer chemotherapy treatments suffer from brain damage. Then mystery kidney disease in central... It said it's a big uh, killer uh, of men. More than HIV and diabetes combined, so go check that out. We have obesity crisis in schools, how one child and three is too fat by the age of 11. And who uh, decides that? The NHS. You're boarding on obese. What active seven-year-old girl was told by her uh, NHS weight scheme? And she's actually in uh, gymnastics and plays tennis. So like I said, with like smoking and weight, that's that's all they care about. They don't actually care. The government uh, doesn't really care that you're healthy or not. It's just about how you appear. Mother whose social workers branded too dumb to have children gives birth to a second baby. That's right. Then pornography is replacing sex education. These researchers say porn is our most prominent sex education. So I reported on Macy's LGBT friendly dressing room policy. 
And it appears that Thai Airlines is going to have transsexual flight attendants greeting you. California teen gets 21 years for killing gays. Prosecutors allege it was a hate crime driven by homophobic rage because King wore girls' clothes and flirted with them. So the parents allowed uh, him to wear heels and makeup, and now they're going to sue the school. And this is what I consider blowback in social engineering. And a high school in Minnesota has parents and their children uh, making out while blindfolded. Thank